MOSFET characteristics. So here's the symbol for a MOSFET with its three terminals. We're going to start off by labelling the three terminals. So we've got the gate, we've got the drain, and we've got the source. And the gate is going to be the control of the characteristics of the MOSFET on here. Uh, what we're going to do very simply is just look at uh, the characteristics of this in terms of the resistance between the drain and the source and the current flowing between the drain and the source. And these are going to be controlled by the voltage across the gate and the source. So very simply, if the gate source voltage is below the threshold, then what we've got here is we've got infinite resistance between the drain and the source. And what this means is that we've got zero current flowing between the drain and the source. If we bring the voltage uh, across the gate and the source above the threshold, what it's going to do is rapid, very rapidly, the resistance between drain and source is going to drop down and it's going to end up being a constant low value um, after a very, very short change in VGS. And we find that the current starts to flow between the drain and the source. So we've got a current flowing down here. Now the size of the current that's flowing depends on the gate source voltage, as you can see in the graph here. Uh, so I'm going to look a bit more detail of this. So we've got the gradient of this, which will give the symbol GM, which is the transconductance, is the term that's used, the transconductance of the MOSFET. And the formula of this particular line, at least once we go above the threshold, is that the drain source current is equal to the transconductance multiplied by however many volts above the threshold the gate source voltage is. And let's have a look at it in a different way. Let's look at the change, how much uh, the drain source current is going to be increased by if we increase the gate source voltage. And we can see here that if we increase the gate source voltage, we bring about a change in the drain source current. So this will be useful when looking at, uh, for example, voltage amplifiers.